go ahead and start a new game. Uh, your engine, uh, we're over. Tutorial guides you to survive and thrive. No, I don't need tutorial. Okay, so the environment. So what are we going to pick? So the world is desolate and unforgiving. Difficulty 17%, 25%. Hot and dry climate, fertile soils 10. Cities are demolished, but nature prevailed. Temperate and humid. Um, I mean, when I say I remember roughly how to play the game, I don't entirely remember. So I'm going to just pick the one slot here. Uh, the worst is past. Time to rebuild. Occasional catastrophes. Contamination level 20. But will prevail. Hmm. We'll just do ones across the board. Group have prepared well in advance. Plentiful starting resources. Um, we'll play it cash for now. There's no survival guide for post population. People need guidance. Tech focus, survival and efficiency. Tech focus, large scale production. Health and safety. Um, we're just going to go survivalist. Uh... It's a tough road to walk, but never unfair. Medium, challenging, but fair. We're, we're just going to keep it as ones across the board. And then we get to pick two specialists. So um, we definitely want a fighter. Let's do him. And uh, we want a scavenger for the early resources stuff. Well, is it the scout, though? The scout can move farther, but the scavenger can get the resources faster so all right so this guy baron having spent half of his life with wildly successful raiding parties he has generated quite the fortune he is happy to spread the wealth around which has earned him an almost religious following he's a bit superstitious though so don't ask him about the number three um let's go with her she dreamed of being a singer, touring post-apocalyptic bars and venues for years, but never got her big break. Afterwards, her intelligence and compassion drove her to seek medical training, but she never stopped singing, not even while performing surgery or exploring the land. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and we're going to go to continue. Uh, visuals. We'll go with purple and... You know, we're going to... I don't know. What do what do you think here? It's like that just looks like Olympic stuff going on. I mean, I'd say the cobra, which is badass, but oh, <laughs> the platypus. Um, let's go. Let's just go with this one. Speaks to a little bit of hope, right? Colony name. Uh, let's find one that's decent. Hmm. Ego, e Egopolis, <laughs> Oxmire Meridian. Kruger Falls. <laughs> White mirror. Sounds a little uh, Skyrim-esque, but whatever. Colony motto. Rather death than dishonor. Adapt and overcome. Under the shade we flourish. Cats won't go quietly into the night. Under the shade we flourish again. Survive and thrive. No, that's too, like, walking dead. Adapt and overcome. I like that one. Because we're keeping it moderate to low difficulty, so... And uh, we're going to go ahead and start the game. Just uh, waiting for it to load here. All right. Now 
New home. The world is in ruins. Many things once considered normal are hard to find, and habitable land is no exception. A settler has finally found a spot for a new colony with a place to call home. It is time for a new beginning. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. Build the campsite to mark the center of the new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area. All right. Uh, let me remember. Let me remember how to do it here. And that's the road. The campsite kind of becomes like a. It's like it's it's where your storage is gonna be. So we're just gonna put it here for now, I guess. And our settler should start going to do it. Just gonna tell us the same thing. Yeah. Okay. This shouldn't take him very long. Okay. So, there are survivors waiting for a signal from the settler. They are cold and hungry, yet willing to work, should the colony take care of them in return. They can be invited in right away or later, in case the settlement needs some more time to be prepared. Invite the colonists by firing the signal flare from the campsite options when the colony is ready for them. Uh, let's... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I don't really care. Let's uh, shoot the flare. It's just the one guy, so I mean, if what's worst case scenario, if people come and we die. They'll come to the front gate right here. From the build menu to attract more people with a gate, specialists can be sent to explore the world map. Okay. So the gate, so, whoop. Uh, the inhabitants. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. Fair enough. So these are our two people that we got. Uh, we do want to build a gate. 12 colonists are homeless. Build more shelters. Sounds like we need to build more shelters first, though. Uh, what kind of resources do we have? We have 175 wood. So... We're going to go to the home, and we're going to start our tent colony here. Uh, apparently, we can't do anything with that. So, let's put it here. I don't know how many it holds. I should have read that. Three, looks like. Yeah, three. So, we need to build a couple more. Rotate. We'll make it uh, all nice and pretty. How much wood is it taking? 25 or 25 cloth, that's okay. We're gonna need somewhere to start anyway, so. Um, and let's see, one more, right? Whoops, I keep pushing the wrong freaking button. I'm sorry. Sorry, folks. Uh, let's not, whoops. This is just me being OCD at this point, but. Okay, um, and how we do this is if we get our people, they will come build. In progress, resources on way. So you notice, so they have to pull resources from the main tents camp area-ish to uh, build the actual, you know, what have you. We are going to want to get our gate up. Um... This is going to keep us from getting tacked just willy-nilly like. We got good coverage on either side. We're pretty much in encased in uh, like a valley with water down here. So on and so forth. So lots of area to explore and buildings to get scrap from. You know, animals, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I, I just like this view better. Sorry. Okay. Construction completed. Da, 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 da. So you'll see the day ticking away here. We will have catastrophes that occur, but we chose kind of the milder setting. So shouldn't happen all the time, but they can be pretty detrimental depending on uh, how prepared we are and you know what kind of disaster occurs so now that that's done we do want to look at building our gate 
want to get uh, shelter, or well, we got the shelter, now we got to get security, so think of like general rules of survival, food, water, fire, shelter, and security, main five right there. Um, we got shelter now, let's get the gate going, we need 190 wood and 175, what is this, plastic. And plastic can be found from different areas and harvested um, like this right here. So move recyclers work area. Nope. Nope. And we need water. Okay. I don't quite remember how to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember how to do it. Okay, so... Here's our resource. Here's the stockpile. The stockpile is what they're going to bring the resources to. So we're going to put one right there. And then we are going to move the work area to collect. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Am I, am I mistaken here? Does this only collect wood? Tell me that that's not the case. Allowed resources. No, okay. So we'll put the work area here. Hopefully they pull some plastic out of here, I'm pretty sure. And so now our colonists will do that. In the meantime, we need to get water going. And the easiest way to do that is going to be water wells. And so we're going to put one over here on the backside um, by our tents. doesn't really make a difference where it's at, but you'll see kind of these red areas are contaminated areas. Green is better. Yellow, not as much. But right here it says high efficiency, so we're going to build that. Uh, we're going to get a couple of those going. I'm going to put another one on the other side of there. Uh, we need people to come build it. And there's all sorts of food to be had, too. So... No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do that but that see so we'll start collecting more there I don't know what they're they haven't started collecting any trash right here so I need to look and see what we need because I don't recall collects wood okay so we'll move that the warehouse just stores stuff Lumber, recycler, that is what we need for plastic. 45 wood. So we're going to build a recycler. Um, where to put it? Where to put it? It doesn't need to be right on top of it, but I do like to keep some of these things closer to the... to, like, our, our general populace. So we're going to flip her this way. And put it right here. I'm worried that it contaminates the area, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to move this work area to clear out all of these trees right here. So that'll start collecting wood for us. Actually, you know what? Nope. Nope, I lied. You're gonna take from there. Yep, I get it. You're all thirsty. Shit happens. Zilasar, yes. Appreciate you. Sorry, I didn't look at this until now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm trying to remember how to do it. Uh, but you know. That's why we put we selected kind of the easiest setting to try to get back into the groove of things. Um, I'm hoping that they're taking wood from here. It looks like it. I see the worker. I need them to hurry up and start building this so I can get my plastic so we can get our gate up. Oh. 
And if I'm butchering your name, I apologize. Is it, is it Xylosar, like Xylophone? Or Zillasar? Or just am I just completely off base? And welcome to the stream. I appreciate you joining. If you uh, notice me doing anything stupid out of the ordinary that I shouldn't be doing on this game, please let me know. Okay, so now we will move this work area over to this massive plastic pile. And we can start getting our plastic. Um, what's consumption looking like? So we're, so we're plus nine. I definitely want to get a couple more wells down, I'm thinking, uh, so that we have a steady flow going of water because when I played this a while back we had like a heat wave come through and like almost all of my populace died because they, we just didn't have enough water stored um, right now we're only at 81 out of the 300 once we get to that point we'll start building some water storage but food is okay right now really just trying to get some of these basic things going um, they should do I just not have enough workers on stuff? Hmm. Can I see how many are on this one? No. I forget where I can see like what my who my people are and what they're doing. I mean, is what it is. Definitely need to get more people. That's for sure. Um. In the meantime, how much is the well again? Like I said, I want to get a couple of those going. See, like... <sighs> these are fine, but... They just... Honestly, like, I don't recall them being very handy for me. I really just don't. And... Yeah. I, I just, I just, I'm just thinking no. I also don't want to use up for 45 wood and 35 plastic to also get another well. So, building or graph button. Okay. Whoops. Wrong one. Wrong one. My bad. Overlays. Don't need that. Tech tree. Don't need that right now. Stats. Is it stats? Must be the stats. Should pull it up. Aha! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, okay. See, I got a bunch of... I got children involved. That, that's, the, that's the problem right now. These mother truckers need to hurry up and grow up so that way we can... We just need more colonists all around. But more colonists means we need more water. Which in turn means we're just kind of screwed in these beginning stages, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> like, I can't harvest the berries right now because I need wood and food is okay right now, but I don't know. Zylosar, what, what do you think? What, what's, what's the next step here? Do I just kind of wait it out, let them gather some resources, or should I... Uh, Wood deposit depleted. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Or should I, uh, you know, maybe build another well? Or what? What makes the most sense here? Because I just, I'm, I guess I'm at a little bit of loss. Yeah, I know overall happiness is kind of whatever. It's mainly just because of the shelter. But, and I kind of want to speed this up. A little bit. Puts the entire colony into an alarm state. Call us run for cover. Oh, I gotcha. So let's let's speed her up just a wee bit. Try to get some more resources. I I still think that we should build the water storage then lumber yard. Okay. I just feel like I'm not getting enough water right now to store but uh, I suppose we're almost at 300 okay you're not wrong see ya. this is this is why I listen to you uh, we're gonna put water storage right there uh, 
That's slowly going down. How much is the lumber yard going to cost? 41. That's not awful. And it turns one log into eight planks. That's pretty efficient. It also, I think, will free up uh, a person or two to help me continue to build the colony. I could be making that up in my mind, but I feel like that's correct. Hey, water storage. All right, all right. Just in time, too. Probably going to need two of those. Is what I'm thinking. Definitely. I felt like I wasn't making enough water, but I guess plus nine on a semi-frequent basis. I do have it sped up a little bit, but... Um, okay. I just need... What I what do I need? Plastic? No, I don't. I have plenty of wood to do lumber yard. Okay. Let's bring this bad boy. Jesus, look at all this shit in the way. Let's 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 bring lumber yard over here. What do we say? Well, I don't wanna like bust down all the lumber that we're about to get, so we're gonna put that bad boy right there. I want you to build resources on the way. And then we're going to put a stock pile, like a wood pile, I think, right next to it, right? That just makes sense. That way they're not going back and forth. Med tent first. Sorry. Ah, no worries. No worries at all. That should be coming shortly. I suppose we're probably going to need outhouse, too, at some point, huh? Uh, we needed plastic anyways, so... So this is depleted. That is perfectly fine. Hey, Xylosar, I forget. Do these stockpiles only collect wood? Or can I pin it on, like, you know, berry bushes or things like that? Because I feel like I'm, I'm putting it over this right now, but it's not. Or am I dumb and I just need, what, like a food storage or something? Probably. Would be my my best bet. Oh, look at this. Jesus. We got all those rats, though. We're going to have to clear those out. Did they build the, uh, the lumber yard? Yeah. Okay. Let's move work area real quick. To right there. We are going to have... Do we have weapons? We have weapons. We have zero weapons. Do they come with weapons? I don't recall. Yeah. Hmm. Food station. Okay. Good deal. Uh, I want to tap into all this, but I want to attack these motherfuckers. So. Uh, I don't. Re I feel like they can't. Yeah, he's got a weapon. I was going to say, I feel like they came with weapons, but. Hey, don't don't go anywhere. anymore There's two uh oh okay harvest the meat now we got some food going uh, we're gonna move this work area to this massive pile of wood stuff over here Rat casserole, exactly. <laughs> um, what we're we waiting on next? The medical tent. Let's put that at the heart. We're going to put it right next to our camp area here. And then we need to look at food. Because I do want to start collecting those berries. Food storage. What is this going to cost me? Nothing? We're going to put that right next to it. 
And yeah, the work area is already set because we got two piles right there. Colonist Joseph is infected. Well, if they hurry up and build the medical tent, then, you know, we can choppity chop chop. They're working. Thank you. Got a guy that's sick. Come on now. Did, uh... They get all those dead carcasses? I'm pretty sure they did. Yep. Thinking? Thinking? No? Thinking they did. Because I don't see them. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Medical tent. We gotta get somebody in there. Perfect. Someone's working. Gotta hurry up and get the gate so we can start getting resources, huh? <laughs> and someone dies at the start. Dude. It's the worst. Especially when you only have, what, in my case, 12 colonists. When you get like 100 colonists, it's like, uh, I mean, I guess. It's just one, one person. It's fine. Okay, so we got food collecting, we got wood collecting, we got the lumberman going over here. Got our medical tent. Oh, where's our food storage at? It's completely maxed. Let's see what this person has to say. One of the colonists approaches, looking more than a little nervous. She says that she might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Her grandmother used to teach her while she was a child, and she seems fairly confident that she still remembers how it goes. The question is, can her skills be trusted? Give her the fiber. Do we even have fiber? Like, do we even have that resource? I... I, I mean, we can go ahead and say sure. I don't re recall where the fiber would be. Uh... So, minus nine fiber. Sure. She's given the fiber and she hurries off, grateful for the trust. After not hearing from her for a while, some colonists decide to go take a look. The little fiber that hasn't been ruined has been mangled into a patchy, poorly made coat that will surely fail to protect even from the slightest dribble. Sorry, I really tried, the woman says, unable to meet anyone's eyes. Yeah, this is what it is. You know, we gotta trust, trust our colonists a little bit as much as we can box at end thank you I see what would I do without you um these what these shower things I'm assuming those are the porta potties right the outhouse I'm pretty sure and we want those to be a little ways away from us because they need to be cleaned uh, we will put that uh, right here We'll make two of them. No, we won't make two of them because plastic is too non-existent right now. So, sorry folks, you're just going to have to share the shitter. Uh, we do need... Oh, don't have enough plastic for that either, do we? Damn. I, I want to stock up on the water situation, like, bad. Mainly because of the fact that, like I said, I had the one catastrophe happen where... I had a drought come through, and whew, it was brutal. Uh, I really do want to build the fence, though, the gate, because it'll allow us to gather resources from out and about. So, oh my gosh, 175 plastic. That is god-awful. That is that is that is awful. They they need to they need to make better work of this. Work has begun to pile up. Someone is not doing their duties. It's a busy day of work and duties, yet one colonist has oddly stopped working. Oddly? Look at this dude. Are we serious? Bro's got a rubber duck in his hair. Like never a good sign. Okay. He's lying on his back, simply staring at the open sky. When questioned why he's lying there, he smiles a wide, half-toothless smile and says, Well, after everything that's happened, we were given a second chance at life. So why don't you? Uh, no. I'm going to tell him to get his ass back to work. 
Man is sternly ordered to stop slacking off and get up. He smirks, but gets on his feet nonetheless to resume his duties. Life is in the little things, you'll see eventually. He says before trekking off, the colony seems pleased to have him do his part. Yay, happiness. Yay, happiness. It's got, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, this has to cover this whole, like, hygiene thing or whatever, or shower thing, right? Um, like, do we, do we really, can I assign another one? We're assigning another worker. Because, like, do we really need two recycling things? I'm gonna say no, we just need to hurry up and gather resources. And I'm annoyed because my water's maxed out right now, and I want more. But I don't want to use any of our plastic because I want the damn gates. <laughs> oh, man. They are making short work of the wood piles over here, let me tell you. I think the, so like I fought different creatures in it when I first played this, but the worst one that like did the most damage was this like sandworm thing. Oh my God. It, it would, it would just destroy colonists. I want them to hurry up and, uh, let's go. Let's, let's get this plastic rolling. We're just a little shy. We're going to speed her up a little bit. Need to get that plastic. Come on with it. How's everything else doing? We are not producing any food, which is what, I mean, not great, but um, we are collecting berries. And so hopefully that staves off some stuff a little bit. Water, we're okay right now. Don't need to worry about that. Wood is plentiful. Plastic is slowly getting there. Metal, these things are going to come later. Nothing to worry about. Firewood, we will need at one point because winter is probably going to hit. We build a wood furnace. Later on, you can get like electric furnaces and stuff like that, but... I'm like, I just, I don't really want to like do much right now because I really just want to get that gate built. What do we need? 175? Okay, we're getting there. It's al almost there. Bear with me, folks. We are coming upon the golden hour to try to get our gate. Yeah, I was going to play Rise uh, Son of Rome earlier, like I was talking about, and I'm only working off the one screen, so it just doesn't, it didn't want to cooperate. Someone seems to have been stealing wood from the storage. A few colonists go investigate, and after a bit of detective work, return with a group of rowdy children, one under each arm. Apparently the kids use the planks to build themselves a tree fort in the nearby forest. Leave the fort. Let kids be kids. Let the kids have their fun. Who's going to miss a few planks anyway? The children are practically beaming with joy after hearing that their precious fort will be saved. They thank the adults profusely. The next day, the colonists find a crude yet immensely colorful thank you card by the campsite decorated with whatever might pass for finger paint. Yeah, we have plenty of uh, wood right now, so not, not a, a super big issue at the moment. Um, we are almost at the 175 for the plastic. Almost there. We're still collecting, still collecting. Things are going decent. Food is actually going up, which is a good thing. Because we're collecting hella berries. We're living on the berry smoothie diet.
Okay, we're at 191. We're going to slow her down for a second. Uh, and we're going to build our gate. Everybody get your butts over there with the resources and start building our gate. Chappity chap chap. Fisher hunter may be good. You know what? You are probably right as you have been this entire time. So I will fully listen to you. Let me get this gate. Well, they can figure out the gate. We'll just put it on kind of half speed. Uh, what do we need? Trapper. Produces two, produces four. I just recall the fish thing being like the best route to go. Oh my lanta! A meteor? Are we are we for real right now? How do we uh? How do we repair this? Repair. <laughs> what the hell is out of nowhere, man? <laughs> My God. Okay, where's where's a fishing hole? We're gonna put a, a fishery, dude, right over here, because I'm telling you, the uh, the fish situation was working out way better for me before when it came to a food aspect. A colonist mutated. Oh no! Quick! And then we are gonna put a stockpile thing next to the fish. We said we were gonna do that for the wood, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so let's go to that. Whoop, nope, that, yep, there we go. Right here. And that should make him put stuff there. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. We're also going to put one right next to the fish place. No, because that, that would require food storage. I'm an idiot. I'm not thinking. Okay? Just not thinking. In the colony as well as more rare foods, items scavenged elsewhere. We'll hold off on that. Because we need plastic. They are slowly building our gate. But it's getting there. And things are looking uh, decent at the moment. Still want to get some more water storage. Because it goes fast during a drought. Put that bad boy right there. This is nearing its end, which is good, because I want it gone. Um, <laughs> Into the new world. Congratulations, you've rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters, and those who just want to see you destroyed. Arm the gate with colonists, or keep some specialists close by to defend yourself from the inevitable raids. Okay, so I do want to send... Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Okay, well, let's talk to the survivors. My father once saw a giant fortress drifting across the clouds. That's where the elite lives. The architects of our doom just biding their time. We would get a fighter out of the mix, which I could I could appreciate because we're gonna about to, we're about to send a scavenger out. So, um, and they're bringing in some supplies, nothing crazy, quite a lot of plastic, which is excellent, and then currency for trading later, but. Um, it gives us seven adults, so which means more workers. We'll just have to build some houses, which is not a big deal. So, accept into our lovely colony. What is this? Decorations? Am I just dumb, or I, maybe I don't recall be de decorations being a thing when I for played a while back? Um, this house is six. That is what we're going to do. 
We're gonna... Put that there. We're gonna put another one on the back side. Whoops. God, I keep pushing the wrong button. Sorry. Another one on the back side. That should get us where we need to be. We are gonna send you to the world map. Bye bye. So long. Farewell. Advitas and goodbye. Game auto saved. We got our fish going. He is doing work, but our water situation is not great now because we just invited more people in. So we need to get more water going. Uh, another water well. Does Xylosar, does it m truly matter where I'm putting the water as long as it's not in the red under the barren soil? Because I know it gives me, like, an efficiency rating, right? But, like, 86 efficiency, like, that's really not that bad. 84, whatever. I'm going to put it down. So we can get a little bit more, because we're only minus one on the consumption. Specialists ready for action. Yeah, they're at the world map. I get that. Okay. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Let's go world map. Let's check her out. Check her out. I got a couple things in close vicinity. I want to research because it'll allow us to um, start getting some more tech for later on. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, these are milestones. Okay. And what is it? It just gives me colony prestige. Okay, this is all n new to me. I don't recall this being a thing. Green is more water until you get upgrade, then it just maxes out. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't recall milestones being a thing, but it is what it is. Our first stop is going to be this, though. Whoops. We are going to scout that out. Uh, it's going to take... Her three days to get it just because she's not a scientist completely okay uh, because like I said we want to start increasing our tech and trying to build bigger and better things that are going to be way more efficient for our colony they need to hurry up and build that let's see venison is my dude just slacking on the uh, the fish front or or what, bro? I, I need I need the food, player. Okay, need need the food. We're gonna, we're gonna make two of you fish. Water well's good. We are back to plus nine. That is a good thing. Things are going smooth right now. All right, so let's kind of look at the tree and what we can start building. I'm not so concerned about a scout tower right now. To my opinion, that comes later. Um, I do, as I get more people, I start to upgrade the buildings in the sense that, like, for instance, depending on how many people it is, right? Like, I'll destroy these tents and make these larger, like, communities, right? Um mainly for a safe uh, uh not a safe uh storage or space kind of issue because two tents is six people one colony emergency shelter is six people when we start to get into like the if i recall the like housing and the 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 tent tenants or whatever it is um no use at the moment later they are adding rewards okay perfect you were we're talking about the milestones i'm assuming um so yeah as that occurs then we'll continue to dabble from there the logging camp is nice for winter purposes right which we probably could do growth time 
rows, saplings, and plants them in the specific specified work area. I'm not really concerned about that. I never had that issue, but I could run into that later. So really, I want to get a logging camp going. Uh, we'll do another outhouse. Don't need to worry about the burial pit right now. I don't care about decorations. I want to get a trapper. It's 25 plastic. It's 20. We do have enough. Logging camp. We're going to we're going to throw a logging camp out there. Um they are going to be turning planks into firewood, which would it make sense to have them right next to to our boy here? I'm thinking it would. Oh shit, we can double up on work areas too, right? Is there any, ah, uh, there's not really nothing for us to double up on over there, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, he is putting that stuff there. Because the idea is that he's getting wood, making the planks, putting it here. These mother truckers can just walk right here be perfectly fine get the planks what do you have to say the horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn your lungs these are the first signs of impending danger intense radiation is a constant threat to colonists building buildings and crops withering and dying during a nuclear fallout new seeds cannot be planted before it's over severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone harvest crops on open fields which we don't have stockpile iodine, iodine pills which we have a little bit and build more medical facilities or assign more workers. We definitely should probably build a secondary tent. Roads do help now. Okay. Uh, let's see what this person has to say. So an older colonist speaks up claiming to bear grave news. She's shaking and in clear dismay. I saw it, a bright wave of destruction. It will hit tonight before people can ask for details. The colonist passes out from the stress. It is unclear how this news should be interpreted. Prepare for fallout, prepare for fire, prepare for meteor. Well, we already know that's gonna be fallout because we just got the thing, so. The vision was clearly a warning of upcoming fallout. Colonists hurry to reinforce buildings before screwing. Before the job can even properly begin, black smoke and flames start raising from the emergency shelter. It seems like the signs were interpreted incorrectly. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to. I don't, I don't know how to put out the fire. I don't know how to put out the fire. Zalasar. Need your help. How, how do I put out the fire? Or do I just let it burn to the ground? Do I just demolish it? In hopes that it doesn't catch on to the other tents? Repair? Okay. So. Fair enough. Um. We, in the meantime, we did want to get another medical tent going. Uh, R to rotate. And we're going to put that right there. That'll give us two medical tents. We'll be able to have two docks, if you will, doctors. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Mother truckers need to hurry up. Uh, military might. New quest available. Let's see. Old world military camps are hard to find thanks to efficient camouflage. But according to a recently arrived survivor, several of them have been found and taken over by a group of bandits. He was briefly captured by... But managed to escape from... Sorry, I read that wrong. Tracking and taking these bandits down might give an opportunity to get their loot. Um... I mean, yeah, we got two fighters. I'm going to say clear out the military camps. Now, you'll see when we go to here, should... Yeah, 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 right here. There's one. There's two. Three. Okay. Uh, we are going to send a fighter out in a minute. 
Low on food. No. It's no bueno. It's because we're not picking berries anymore. Chop, chop. Berries was a primary resource. I want you to go hunting. I knew I saw some mother truckers over here. Oh, do they... I forget. Do they attack the... Uh, my peeps. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yes. That is like four or five deer, right? That you guys can pull from. And get some food going. Are we still are we still repairing over here? Oh, it's because I took took my uh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Um, our outhouse is gonna have to be taken care of as well. But I want them to hurry up and get that food back. So, uh, how like what is what does it cost for the roads? Dirt roads, nothing. Okay, perfect. Well, let's go like that. The question is, like, where do we want to, to, to put the roads? Can't put it over there. Through there, I should say. Whoops. Keep it nice and tight. And then we'll go straight down. right now um we will build a path from our little little spot over here down to our toilet because why not You mother truckers still gathering, gathering food? You better be. Better bring that deer back. The fallout has begun. No. All right, we're in. We're in for it now. It's definitely uh. The food situation is awful. We gotta get the hunter out there. I got sidetracked, or the trapper. Um, we want to... I mean, those trees are going bye-bye. I got them working on that. Let's, let's put the trapper over here, right? In this general vicinity, right? I don't want to take out the trees because that's where like the animals come from. So we'll we'll put the trapper right. Low efficiency, need more tree. Oh, so you do have to put it in the trees. Medium, medium, medium. All right. Well, we'll just put this mother trucker here. Um. Okay, well that's that's getting built. This is good to go. We will need to clean out the porta potty. You can move work area. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm not raiding this game right now. I want you to be aware. We are good there. Do need to move this work area. This is for that. Is there any... There were buildings over here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And way more over here. Holy buckets. No, we're going to move it over here. 
Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, so we got the hunter going. We're good on houses. Food storage is fine. Water, I believe, is okay for now. <clears throat> we got the logging camp. Got two medical tents. Let's do another outhouse. Oh, our plastic has been depleted. More plastic right here. Not too far. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I mean, until we start getting some tech options to grow food, we're kind of just in a rock and a hard place right now on the low food aspect, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know. Zylasar, what do you think? Should I build another fishing spot? Should I do another trapper? Is it maybe just not worth it at the moment? Because, okay, so I got 300 science points. Let's go look at the tech tree. <clears throat> Aha! The hunting cabin. That, I think, will help. Maybe I answered my own question there. <laughs> Um, it only requires 100, so we're going to research that. Oh, yeah, that's right. It takes time. I forgot. I was wondering. I'm like, I heard, you said, uh, I think you said hunting cabin earlier. And I'm like, well, it doesn't give me that. It only gives me the trapper. <laughs> I mean, we, we might have our first death on our hands. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we are going to... We are going to move the area for this over just a wee bit. Max was born, bruh. You, you were born into a bad situation, bro. You're probably going to have something wrong with you. It's just guaranteed at this point. Um... What are you carrying? That's what I want to know. Oh, y'all are still getting food? Yo. I didn't realize how much venison is there. Okay, well, we'll just keep leaving that. We're going to send you off to the world. Well, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's already done. I don't even care. It's already done. Already done. We survived the radiation ish. This mother trucker is glowing like nobody's business, but back to world map. You only have a little bit left. I want you to go attack these fools. Whoops. God, I keep pushing the wrong button. Scout it out, scout it out. Is it? Oh. Takes an entire turn. Kill me, Smalls. Kill me. Absolutely kill me, Smalls. Um. Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and hurry up the research. Outhouse is ready to go. This needs some serious cleaning. So... I forget, like, do I just right-click it? Sorry, you can pick up that food later. I thought that... Oh, see. Maybe that changed, or maybe I'm just stupid, but... He has a glowing personality. <laughs> Bro, now that is a dad joke right there, for real. Appreciate you on that one. That, that that was a good one. I don't know what's taking you so long. Like I don't. 
Oh, 